Welcome to GetChemistryHelp.com. My name is Dr. Ken, and today's lesson is on significant digits and rounding. Now, as we saw in our previous lesson on significant digits and measurements, all numbers from a measurement are significant. However, we will often generate non-significant digits when it comes to performing a calculation. So we need to get rid of those non-significant digits in a very systemized way, and the way we do that is through rounding. So there are three rules when it comes to rounding. Rule number one says, if the first non-significant digit is less than five, then we'll drop all of the non-significant digits. So if the first non-significant one is less than five, then we'll just drop all of the non-significant ones. Rule two says, if the first non-significant digit is greater than or equal to five, so if now if it's greater than or equal to five, then we will increase the last significant digit by one, but still drop all of the non-significant digits. And the third rule says that if you have a calculation with two or more operations, well, you want to keep at least one non-significant digit until you get down to the final operation and then round off the answer. So what that means is there's going to be times when you have to do multiple operations. So you might have to multiply a number and then add another number and then divide a number and then subtract a number. So you don't want to round off after every operation. You want to wait and round off at the very end. Okay, so let's just look at a couple of examples and see how these rules play out. Okay, so here's a number, 17.846239, that you might get that number out on your calculator. And you know to keep just three significant digits, let's say. Okay, so I'm going to keep the first three significant digits. So the 1, the 7, and the 8 are all significant. Okay, so what's the first non-significant digit? Well, it's this 4 right here. And according to rounding rule number 1, less than 5 tells me just to drop all of the non-significant ones. So that would round off to become 17.8. Okay, how about if the calculator displayed 17.856239, and I still wanted to keep three significant digits. Okay, I keep the first three, one, two, three, but then I look at the first non-significant one, and now that is a five. So rounding rule number two said five or greater, add one onto the last significant digit, which is this eight, and then still drop all of the non-significant ones. So if I add one onto that last non-significant place, 17.8 would become 17. Okay, well how about 151 if I want to round that off to two significant digits? Okay, so the first two significant digits are this 1 and this 5. The first non-significant one is this one. So that's less than 5, so I have to round down and just get rid of it. But I can't just turn 151 into 15. I have to put something in this 1's place, so I put in a 0. As you might recall in our previous lesson, these are just called placeholder zeros, and placeholder zeros are, are never significant. So this is still just one, two sig figs. How about 2,788? Well, how would I round that off to show three sig figs? Okay, well, we want to keep the first three, so one, two, three. Again, I look here at the first non-significant digit, and that's an eight. So five or greater tells me to round up so I'm going to add 1 onto this last significant digit. So I'm going to make that 278 will become 279. But again, I can't just leave that 279. I have to put something in this place. So I'm going to put a 0 in there. So it becomes 2,790. Okay, so let's do a few last examples and we'll wrap this up. How about if I was going to round 4.1278 off to three significant digits? Okay, so again, I'm going to keep the first three significant digits. So one, two, three. The first non-significant digit is a seven. That's five or greater, so I round up on the last significant one. So 4.12 would become 4.13. How about 4.1278, but off to two significant digits? Okay, so I keep the first two significant digits. The first non-significant digit is this two. So that's less than five, so I round down and just drop all of the non-significant digits. So it just become 4.1. How about 63,401 to three significant digits? Okay, so I look at the first three significant digits. So the six, 
this 3 and this 4 are significant. The first non-significant digit is this 0. So that tells me to round down and drop all the non-significant digits. So I'm going to keep the 6, the 3, and the 4. But again, I can't just leave this 10's place and this 1's place empty because 634 is very different from 63,401. So I have to put zeros in the 10's place and the 1's place. So that would round off to 63,400, which still is just three significant figures because we learned before that trailing zeros are never significant anyway. How about 0 0.0562 off to two significant digits? Okay, again, leading zeros, as we saw in our previous lesson, are never significant. So these zeros aren't significant. So the five and the six are the first two significant digits. The first non-significant digit is this two. That's less than five, so I just round it off and drop those. So I'm gonna keep just the five and the six here. So that would become 0 0.056. Okay, great, well I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Uh, for more video lessons and chemistry practice problems, please come and visit me at GetChemistryHelp.com, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.